So I just found this insane workflow that combines the power of perplexity with Google's new Nano Banana Image Generator. And honestly, I think that this might be one of the most underutilized ways to make money with AI right now. Now look, I can promise you're gonna make money with any of this. Starting an online business is of course hard. And even if you do everything perfectly right, there's still no guarantee you're gonna make anything. But what I will do is I'm going to show you exactly how this workflow works and some ways you can potentially use it to make money online. All right, so before I show you how to potentially make some money with this, you really need to understand how these two tools work together. Because once you see this, everything's just gonna click into place for you. So for this, we're using two different AI tools. So first we have perplexity, and this is kind of like the brains of the workflow. This is gonna do all of the research and planning for us. And this might look like a regular chatbot, but it's a lot more powerful than that. And the second part of this is we're going to use Google's new Nano Banana Image Generator. And we're going to use this to create actual images and graphics. Now you might be thinking, why don't we just use Google Gemini for everything, since Nano Banana is part of Google's tool anyway. But the thing is, Perplexity is just so much better at research. Like it's giving you actual citations, it does the iterative research where it actually digs deeper and deeper, and it really creates these very comprehensive reports. So basically what we're doing is we're using the best tool for each job. Perplexity for the research, and Nano Banana for actual image generation. So let me show you what I mean with an example. So let's pretend that you are a film director or maybe you are a screenwriter and you're looking to come up with a new idea for a film. So first I'm gonna come over here to Perplexity. I'm going to ask it to create a detailed film concept for a five minute short film about someone starting an online business. And I wanna include things like character profiles, scene descriptions, and visual style guidelines. And then I'll click on submit for this. And it's gonna start pulling information from the web. It's going to start putting this all together. You see how fast this is. So first it has the log line, which is basically a description of what's going on. We have each of the characters and their full description right here with some background information about them and sort of their, their position in the story. So we have the protagonist here named Jamie. We have one of their friends and we have the abstract presence over here as well. And then we have a scene by scene breakdown. So this is all of it right here. So once I have that, I could just go ahead and copy it. And then this is where it gets really cool. I'm gonna come over to Google AI Studio. And this is what I use to access Nano Banana. And this is completely free to sign up and use. I have a free account and I'll show you, everything I'm gonna show you today is being done on the free account of both Perplexity and Google AI Studio, which again has Nano Banana in it. So what I'll do is I'm going to paste in this prompt create a professional storyboard frame based on this scene description. And then I'll go ahead and paste in what I just copied from Perplexity and click on run. And here we go, we have the first frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. You can see that this is a close up of Jamie writing on some stationery right here in his bedroom and notes about the sound of pencil scratching, distant city hum, lighting like a warm lamp on page, cool ambient light. It's pretty cool. And then it says, hey, do you wanna move on to frame two? I could say, yes, frame two. And then I'll go ahead and start generating that one as well. So in just a few minutes, we went from just having an idea to having an entire storyline written out and these visual elements for our storyboard being created as well. That is the power of using a tool like Perplexity with Nano Banana. Now, of course, I don't expect many of you watching this are directors or filmmakers, but I just kind of use this as an example to show like how this workflow works. But let's actually dive in now and I'll show you some examples of how regular people can use this workflow if they're looking to maybe start an online business. Let's start with something that I understand very well, which are thumbnails for YouTube videos. This is something that you can sell as a service on websites like Fiverr or Upwork. But let me show you how you can get started with this from scratch. So I'm gonna come over here to Perplexity and I'm just going to say to it, what are some of the top performing niches on YouTube? So it's telling me that the most profitable niches include things like personal finance, investing, educational content, tech reviews, entertainment, beauty, and fashion. But popular content are things like cooking, vlogs, DIY crafts, and ASMR. So let's zero in on one of these. We'll do ASMR. So I'm gonna click add to follow up and I'm going to say to it, research the top performing YouTube thumbnails in the ASMR niche. Analyze what visual elements, colors, text placement, and facial expressions get the highest click-through rates. 
So now I have an entire description of exactly what makes a highly clicked video on YouTube in this ASMR niche. So we have that entire outline right here. So next I'm gonna follow up with perplexity and ask it, I'm looking for some ASMR channels that have between 10,000 and 90,000 subscribers who may need some help with their thumbnails. And the reason we're targeting these channels is because they've shown growth. So a lot of times these channels are willing to reinvest into their business by hiring freelancers like you potentially to actually make thumbnails for them. But they haven't hit 100,000 yet, so they haven't quite figured out their entire workflow. So we're gonna try to fill in some of the gaps for them. And here we have several channels that they've found for us. There's three of them right here. And they've highlighted specifically what these channels can improve on when it comes to their thumbnails. So what I'm gonna ask it to do is look at one of their channels. I told them to look at this person's channel right here named Connor and look at his five most recent videos. Find the one that has underperformed and create a prompt to generate a thumbnail for that video to improve the click-through rate. So here's our prompt right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that down. So now we have Perplexity has done all of this work for us. It has identified what makes a good thumbnail. Actually, first it found out for us what is a great niche on YouTube, what makes a good thumbnail for that niche, what channels need help, and specifically the prompt we need for videos on that channel. So copying that down, I can now come over to Google AI Studio. Let's go ahead and start a new chat. And there's one more thing we have to do before we can paste that in. So you wanna come over to Google and you wanna search for blank transparent 1080 by 720. So basically what we're looking for is just a blank YouTube thumbnail. So like this one right here, just a blank page like this. And the reason we wanna do this is because Nano Banana isn't very good at giving you the dimensions that you want. So if you just ask it to generate the prompt that we that we have from Perplexity, it's gonna do it as a square and it's not gonna let you resize it. So this is a workaround for doing that. So I'm gonna find this blank YouTube thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and save this image to my desktop. And then returning back to Google AI Studio, I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. And then I'll say to it, I want you to use this as the background for this. And then I will paste in what we copied from Perplexity. And then finally we can click on run. And there we go. We now have the thumbnail right here, exactly what we asked for. So what do you do with this? Well, you go ahead and you download this and then you reach out to the YouTuber whose channel this was for and say, hey, I really like your channel. I watched all your videos and I wanna let you know that I am a thumbnail creator. That is what I do. And I noticed that one of your videos underperformed the other ones and it might be because of the thumbnail. So what I did was I made you a new thumbnail. It's completely free for you to use. I'm not gonna charge you for this one but if you want me to make more thumbnails for you in the future, this is my rate. And then you can go ahead and send them this thumbnail. Another thing you can do is you can come back over here to Perplexity and ask it, what are the top ASMR channels on YouTube? And then you can ask it to create thumbnail prompts for those channels and then actually make them in Google AI Studio the same way that I showed you. And then over on Fiverr, you can create a headline or a, a gig that says, hey, I make ASMR thumbnails in the style of blank of the top channels on YouTube for ASMR. That will then draw people in. They'll see examples of thumbnails that would work for that channel. And then you can have them sign up for your gig right there on Fiverr. Before we move on, if you're enjoying this video so far and wanna learn more workflows just like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. I make these videos for you guys absolutely for free. So it's a little way that you can give back and tell me that you appreciate that. For this next one, we are going to take things more local. We're gonna look at local businesses. So I'm gonna ask Perplexity to research the top 10 or really just 10 new small businesses in Boulder, Colorado, which is where I live. So for each business, identify their key pain points, recent updates and competitive challenges based on recent news and industry reports. So here we have our report right here. The first company is called Sweater Ventures. We have a company called Pact. We have a couple of beauty stores as well. So what I'll now do is I will look at one of these stores like Aspen Eyewear, for instance, and I will say to it, 
Look at Aspen Eyewear. Since they need advertising material for their business, help me come up with a few ideas. These can be billboards, signs for their store, or advertisements in local papers. I want something as visual as possible. And what it's coming up with for me are different ways that they can advertise using, using visual media. So here we have a few different ideas right here, like store signs, local uh, paper advertisement ideas. So I'll say, let's go with a full page color ad idea. Go ahead and create a prompt to generate the image that is going to be used for that ad. And it didn't quite listen to my directions. Instead of creating the prompt, it actually created the image. And this is, I'm, I'm glad this happened because this is a really good example of why we don't use perplexity for the image generation because this isn't a very good image. Nothing about this is something that I would want in an advertisement, right? It's, it's sloppy. So I'm gonna say to it, no, don't create the image, create the prompt for the image. So here we go, we have the prompt right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that down and return back to Google AI Studio. Now in this case, I'm just gonna send it the prompt because I'm not sure what the dimensions are. But again, if you wanted specific dimensions, you would have to do the same thing I showed you before, that little hack to get Nano Banana to give you the image in the exact dimensions that you want. But for purposes of this, we'll just let it use the default dimensions and we'll click on run. All right, so here is our final design right here. And what you can then do is kind of what I showed you before, where you would then reach out to Aspen Eyewear in this case, or maybe even go to their store, ask to speak with the owner or manager and say, hey, I noticed you're, you're not advertising in the local paper. Well, I can actually help you with that. I can write the copy for you. I can do the images for you. Uh, you just pay me a flat fee for this. This one is free. This one's on me. And I'll even you can even throw in that you'll actually reach out to the paper for them and actually handle all those logistics as well. The more you can let, make their life easier, the more likely it is that they'll actually hire you and keep you on on an ongoing basis. And then you could do the same thing, reach out to all the other local small businesses that are new that need to get the word out and you can reach out to them and do the exact same thing. So there you go. That's my very simple workflow to combine the power of perplexity with Google's insane new AI image generator known as Nano Banana. Now the key with this is you're not just creating images in a void, you are actually creating images that are backed by research that we do on perplexity. And don't just limit yourself to the examples I showed you in this video. Once you understand this workflow, this unlocks so many possibilities. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you're gonna love this one because inside of this video, I cover seven of my favorite free AI tools. You don't wanna miss out on these. So click on this video right here and I'll see you over there in just one second. Bye for now.